Hey everyone, it's Steve with Nintendo Fuse, and we have another review for you today. This time it's Solar Flux by Firebrand Games on Nintendo Switch. This game released back on December 11th, 2018, but it's actually originally on Steam back from 2013. It's been kind of remastered a little bit for Nintendo Switch. It's a puzzle and strategy game where you control your ship in outer space and navigating all around these asteroid fields and black holes and meteors and all these sort of things that can give you trouble in outer space. And your job is to collect plasma and restore the suns in the atmosphere. You'll be doing this over 80 different missions in four different galaxies, and the goal is to kind of earn three stars for each. It's kind of one of those style games based on how fast you do it, how little fuel you use, and all that sort of thing. You get rated on how well you did, and so you can get one, two, or three stars. This is definitely one of those games that is easy to learn but hard to master. I found myself making my way through a lot of the early levels pretty quick, but I wasn't getting three stars. It took me a while to finally get the second and third star. The game also looks really good and it plays both in handheld and on the TV in docked mode, but one of the things you need to know is that it only uses the Joy-Cons in TV mode. If you're playing on the go, it uses the touchscreen controls, but honestly I did not like the touchscreen controls. They just seemed a little awkward and kind of backwards. You place your finger where you want the fuel to go instead of the direction you want to go and it just seemed a little awkward and I kept running into things. When using the Joy-Cons, you actually control the direction with the left joystick, but then you hit the A button to actually boost your ship in that direction. And then you use the right analog stick to direct your shots into the sun and hit the R button to actually shoot it. Overall, the controls work pretty well. The big thing that I didn't like, though, was in the first galaxy, a lot of it is red, and the little directional to show you where you're shooting at the sun is also red, so it kind of fades in the background. And actually, when you get your first plasma, it gives you a, a dotted arrow toward the closest sun, but that sometimes threw me off as well, and I often shot in the wrong direction and missed entirely. Overall, this is a really fun game and I enjoyed it. For $9.99 in the US, this might be a little much for someone that is not so sure about this style of game. But if you're a big fan of this kind of game, I do recommend you check it out. But I do recommend you play on TV mode because in handheld mode, with using the touchscreen, it's just not the greatest experience. If you're new to Nintendo Fuse, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be alerted by every new video we post. Also, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend. We're so grateful for you checking out this video today, and we'll see you next time.